Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Badruddin and in this video we will learn how to cache the bitmaps stored in SD card. In the first part we saw how to set up the SDMMC peripheral and add FATFS file system to the STM32F746 TAGFX template. In the second part we saw how to cache the bitmaps stored in the SD card into the SDRAM. In this part we'll see how to load the binaries and run the demo. Now, if I have a look at the map file and the debug and then stm32f746 disco.map, if I look at the map file, I see that both image background and image 00 are placed under external flash section, which starts from address a00000000. Now, I will proceed to download the binary to my STM32F746 discovery board. Of course, now we will download the binaries to the internal flash and the external quad spy flash. So we see here that we program the internal flash and then the external flash memory. QBID didn't download the binary to this flash section, external flash section. Before I proceed to start the execution, I, I will use the touchgfx environment command line to download the binary to the SD, SD card. I will start touchgfx environment and then change directory to the path of the binary. So the binary or the ELF file is located under TGFX project STM32F746 SD cache bitmaps STM32CubeID and debug. Next, I will extract the images from the ELF file. I will use this RM non EABI object copy, dump section, external flash section, images.pen, that's the name of the target file, and then stm32f746 disco.elf. With this command, I will dump the external flash section from the ELF file to images.pen. Now, if I check the files here, if I go stm 32 qbyd debug, I see here that I have a new binary images.pen. And this contains all the bitmaps placed at address 0x A00000. Now I'll copy images.pen to my SD card. I'll place my SD card into SD, SD card reader. I'll copy images.pen and then paste it in the removal disk E and paste here. Okay, eject. Okay, now I'll remove my SD card and place it in the SD card slot in the SDM32F746 discovery board. So, connector. Now that I have the binary available on the SD card, I will start the execution. Here I have my texture mapper animation working fine. Thank you for joining me in this video and we hope that you enjoyed learning how to cache the bitmaps stored in SD card.